Boston came and got in bed with me this morning and I asked him the, <laughs> the question. Who do you love better, mommy or daddy? Mom. <laughs> but, but I just want my love mom this much more. Yeah, not a lot more, just like a baby pinch more. Mm -hmm. And how come? Mm -hmm. I don't know either. <laughs> Do you want to tell everybody what you were worried about this morning? If mommy doesn't have enough money. Yeah, he said, I'm worried that you don't have enough money. Do you have $90? I definitely have $90. Can we borrow a little bit out of your piggy bank? <laughs> <laughs> Might be a little short. I think it's really, really sweet that you are concerned and that that is something that you think about and worry about. Lady, you look so beautiful. I love you, Boston. Yeah, I love you, Mom. I think you're a sweetie. You are. <gasps> Thank you, sweetheart. Are you talking about my body? <laughs> yeah. Hey, are those Lululemon pants? Lululemons? Come over here. Are those, come here, Joel. These little things? Are those, lift up your shirt a little. Are those high-waisted jeans? Hiding love handles. They're not jeans, but they are high waisted. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to say jeans. Okay, I told Joel, come here. He kept wearing. This is this is just a lesson in um, dressing for your body type. Joel kept wearing his waistbands below his love handles, and then he would complain that his love handles were here. So I taught him this mom trick. I said. Get yourself a pair of high-waisted pants, which these are, and see how it smooths that out? What do you think? I love wearing these. I wear them everywhere. They look so good on you. Because they're higher-waisted, they make your legs look longer. I'm just teaching Joel how to dress his body, okay? And I'm not a, uh, like, casual clothes guy, like, at all. I like jeans, but yeah. I travel in these now. Like, yep, I converted him. I travel out of here. I converted him, everybody. This morning is general conference. General conference lasts for two days. We have it every six months in preparation for general conference. I am getting myself some lemon water because I think it's going to help me eat less snacks. <laughs> so, and Olivia wants to do it with me. We're gonna drink plenty of water today. This is Joel's preparation for conference. Why? Let's just say Grandma and Grandpa stayed on a good distance away, but they threw candy out saying, here you go. They did, they drove by. It was like the best parade, the smallest parade ever. <laughs> We've been a little obsessed with anything cornbread, cornmeal, what, what is it called? Jiffy cornbread. Yeah. yeah, I have a food highlight on my Instagram that we put this uh, cornbread recipe onto. Gosh, it was good. So we're having cornmeal pancakes and I'm going to use the E version of our Griffiths cookbook to make our syrup. If you guys didn't know, we took our Griffiths cookbook and we made it into an E version. And on the E version, we did record audio of us. My mom used to make this all the time when I was growing up. I love to watch it and throw the stuff together. <laughs> anyway, so you can kind of see. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny to me. This is called a stork bite. It's kind of like a birthmark. I don't know why it's so inflamed right now. The kids were asking what it was and I said, every single one of you has it. You can't really see Olivia's because her hair is so low. You can't see Cody's because his hair is grown over it a little bit. See, oh yes you can. You can see it right here. Can you guys see it's underneath his hair right here. His is a little higher up in his neckline. You can kind of see Boston's through his hair. It's hereditary. Do I have it? Did you just say, do I have it? Yeah. Joel, you know you have it. That's where the kids got it from. Joel has it just a little bit right here in his hair. Oh, Olivia took hers out. Okay, hold. Oh, yes, you can totally see Olivia's. Right in here. Yeah, you can totally see it. Every single one of my kids has it. Inherited it from Mr. Joel Holine himself. I get them. And mom has it. Nope, I don't. Wait, you don't? No. Every single one of Joel's brothers has it too. Well, and I was thinking about it too, because I was like, man, why does that seem familiar? But I've seen them <laughs> on my brothers. Yeah. I've never seen it on myself. So I'm like, <laughs> 
they do. I've cut I've cut your brother's hairs, and every time I cut their hair, I realize that they have it too. I don't know if you guys can see this. He has his hands in my pockets, and he's running his hands up and down my legs. Is that warm? <laughs> I'm not sure how the basement is such a disaster. We haven't even started yet, but there's a few essentials that are going on. We've got the fireplace. Cody, is this your section over here? Do you plan on working out during conference? <laughs> okay, it's fine. Do you, oh, oh, is this also your section? Oh, okay, so you have two sections. Okay, the kids stayed up last night and had a little sleepover down here And this is what Boston created which you guys quite frankly. I'm just impressed Actually, he, so. he took it out of his room and then he put it right here. Awesome He's got all of his colored pencils. He's very proud of this electric <laughs> Pencil sharpener all of his pencils are sharp pristine, ready to go for conference. I'm not sure what he plans on doing with these little things, but hey, they're out here, they're ready. Lincoln, I think we're gonna have to do something about your section, because that just makes me really sad for you. He doesn't care, he doesn't notice. Olivia, your area is beautiful. I have my section, because mine has you. As long as you're happy, son, that's okay. Olivia, I would expect nothing less from your area. She has the dog bed, beautiful pillows. I think we're ready to do this, Joel. I think Lady's ready. <laughs> All right, let's do this. The live broadcast starts in eight minutes, and I will link in the description if anyone is interested in re-watching it. The last essential that we need, there's actually two. We need coloring pages for the littler kids. And these guys! Okay, ooh, actually, I might be using my Dremel to file off my nails today during conference. We'll see, okay. But these little guys, hey Code, or someone here. Yep, come here. Help me carry these out. Whoa. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, with speakers selected from the general authorities and general officers of the church. They are six feet apart, and this is the very first broadcast that will not have an Brothers audience. And sisters, we welcome you to the Saturday morning session of the 190th Annual General Conference. The music has been pre-recorded and will be under the direction of various conductors and organists. Okay, they're just starting this song, so I'm just gonna quickly tell you this. I felt rushed because I did not want to miss what he was saying when he very first started, and I, I kind of forgot that they obviously weren't allowing people to gather and watch. Usually they have a conference room full of people where you go and you can listen. Obviously, they couldn't do that this year. The choir gets together and they sing, but they pre-recorded it. This is like from past times, do you think? Okay, so this is from past conferences, so the choir isn't getting together. Like, this is a really big deal. Anyway, and I got so, like I got a little choked up when I saw them. They were six feet apart. They were in a room by themselves. I'm sure that must feel so weird for them. I'm sure it's awkward as all get out. It's no, the first I bet I... it's not awkward. Well, I mean, just different, I guess. Different, yeah. I think it's fun. It just shows that like, you can have the same effect from something and do it differently. Accomplish it differently. Yeah. yeah. We've got a two hour break before the next session and so we brought the kids up the um, canyon just a little ways. This is just like right in our backyard which is so pretty and fun and refreshing. Anyway, the kids are finding clay pigeons that we can use with Cody's bow and arrow. Target practice. Target practice. Yep, I get two. Cody, got one. Oh, see all these piles and the mounds? That's what yeah. describe burn. Who put them in piles? Forest Service. Wow, that's kind of cool. That's cool, I would have never even noticed. Wait, 
Yay. Look how many you found, Joel. That's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> he hit the target. Wait, where's the target? Where's the target? Oh. <laughs> Bow a little bit. Okay. No, other way, no, other don't way, worry other about way, it. Hey, don't worry about it. Just pull it back, bud. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Okay. Let go. Good job. Wow. I don't even know where it went. If you need to keep it tilted a little bit, you can. Like that. Just a little bit. That's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's so cute. Use your muscles, come on. Hey! You did it! Today is the Sunday morning session of conference and we are back in the kitchen making another amazing breakfast. I just put chicken in the crock pot for tonight. So we're gonna do like chicken and rice type stuff. Yeah, yesterday was good. Today's supposed to be even better, so. It's always got good food. So this last session, if you notice, we had everything cleaned up off the floors and we had just the kids right in front of the fireplace because we wanted the basement to be nice and cleaned up because it was a little bit different of a session than we've ever had during conference and we wanted to kind of set the mood and the tone for the topics that we were discussing. Um, anyway, and so this is our last and final session of the weekend. We've got our lunch trays set up and grandma, my mom, Grandma Griffith, sent each of the kids a package. This one says Boston, don't open it yet, don't open it yet. I know I already opened them. I kind of saved these. This one's Lincoln. Yeah. And then does that say your name? I'm assuming this is yours then, so you guys can go ahead and open them. I had this Lego set. Uh, yeah, well, it's kind of hard not to get you a Lego set that you don't already have, so. 60 pieces. What did you get? I got a puzzle too. Good. Don't you think those will be fun to? Oh, got a hundred piece puzzle. Wait, no, 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 yeah. listen. Me and no. you could trade because If you I want have... to, you yeah, can. Do you I... want to? Okay. That's that so makes cool. Boston happy. <laughs> By the... I don't know what's happening. Okay, there's an airplane stuck in the tree and all my kids are over in the neighbor's yard and see these balls, I've been trying to throw them back and forth over the fence trying to get this airplane. It's chaos. Do you see that ladder? Olivia's holding it while Cody climbs it. Yeah, holding it while Cody climbs it. Like it's not even a T, it's just like a straight up and down ladder. Did he get it? Did he get it? <laughs> All right, good night, everybody.